almost 90% of the world's population connected to the internet. The media published and distributed on the web influences more humans than any other form of media on the planet. With power and influence such as this it is necessary to make sure all humans have access to the same media and that all media is able to be published by anyone. That is the only way to maintain a free and censorship free internet. And Sven Olaf Kanfusaka CB3 Rob knows that and has dedicated his life to fighting for that cause. Recently the fight between defending your rights to access information freely and corporate interests has spilled over into the legal system. Except this time they couldn't shoot their opponent so they shot the messenger. Imagine a battlefield and on each side is an army. The first army sends over his messenger to discuss how to find an end resolution to the disagreements and boom. The rifle fires and the messenger falls. Is that even tolerable in the most sadistic and nethtertal cultures? This is exactly what happened in the case of Sven Olaf Kampfus as a spokesman for multinational ISPs working in cooperation as a group called the Stop House Movement. The Stop House Movement is a collection of victims of the Spam House Project Limited. An international organization that claims to report spam sources and operates the world's largest blacklist operation. The Stop House Movement launched a series of attacks against Spam House which led to their public image website being down for over a week. Spam House recruited Cloudflare, a US-based company with international service structure that provides content delivery services and DDoS mitigation. Cloudflare placed Spam House NS records behind their Enercast system and distributed the payload across their own network. In their mitigation process, Cloudflare caused collateral damages from a targeted attack. Some speculate that this was intentional. It is argued that this was a formulated plot to shut down Spam House 1 enemy. Cyberbunker or Sven Olaf Kampfus. By using a US based provider as a victim and efforts to recruit US law enforcement services. While Spam House has repeatedly claimed that they do not do business in the US. And thus have been immune to court decisions against them in the past. They are clearly doing business with Cloudflare, who is, in turn, using US law enforcement to do spam house bidding. The truth is that Sven Olaf Kampfus did not orchestrate, execute, or plan a DDoS attack against anyone. The attack was not planned and was carried out by a single person that was not Sven Kampfus. Sven's involvement with the stop house movement is as a spokesman to negotiate a solution or a mediator if you will. He was the messenger for a group of activists and ISPs that Spam House had either harmed or that disagreed with Spam House procedures in dictating web content and email communications. The internet cannot remain free as long as private businesses worldwide are able to dictate content through blacklists remain immune from scrutiny from courts or the public, and abuse law enforcement measures in efforts to maximize profits. It does not appear that governments are concerned with this issue and private citizens are standing up against spam house by the thousands. The internet belongs to the people and information is not to be censored based on private and commercial agendas. It is time to take our web back from the tyrants and dictators that wish to monitor and control us with the communication and information portals available worldwide. If you would like to know more about how to join the movement against Spam House or to help Sven Olaf Kampfus and the Stop House movement's cause for free information for all, keep your eyes on hashtags free CB3 Rob and Stop House or join the efforts on IRC. IRC Anonops.com Channel 3 CB3 Rob This is not about the right to spam, scam, or anything of the like. This is about the freedom to communicate freely through publicly published media and communication networks. This is about the value of the web itself and the information available to the public at large. Do not be fooled by false media and commercial agenda. The Stop House movement is not a collective of spammers. 
It is a collective of freedom fighters. That will not be backed down by Spam House. Or any other censorship or extortion organization.